Around 100 protesters in Tel Aviv demonstrated outside of Israel's defense ministry on October 14, demanding the safe return of hostages held by Hamas. Israel has vowed to annihilate Hamas after its fighters burst out of Gaza a week ago and stormed through towns and villages, killing 1,300 Israelis, mainly civilians, and making off with scores of hostages. Since then Israel has placed the Hamas-run Gaza Strip, home to 2.3 million Palestinians, under a total siege and bombarded it with unprecedented airstrikes. Gaza authorities say 2,200 people have been killed, a quarter of them children, and nearly 10,000 wounded Israel has said it has confirmed the identities of 120 that are being held by Hamas captors and has informed their next of kin. My children are missing, uh, along with another girl that came running to us. Uh, I'm here because uh, I want the Israeli government along with the Hamas uh, organization. Both, uh, I have to say, it sounds uh, not so out of context right now, but uh, overall, we're religious uh, countries. Israel is a Jewish, and Hamas are uh, Muslim, both uh, peaceful, loving religions. I think uh, over the past years, you know, uh, we got into a situation we don't know how to get out of, and it led to to what has happened right now. And my kids are over there, along with my wife, I hope uh, in good health. And I want them to come back home in good health. And uh, I came here, this is where decisions are being made in Israel. If I could go to the center of Gaza and do the same thing, I would. And I wish I could go there someday. We have to stop. I think we, ha we got this right now as a sign from God just to stop the bloodshed. And I ask Hamas, which is holding my family, I hope again in good health, please stop, and the Israeli government to please stop and just bring the women and children back. <laughs> I just want my brother back. There's nothing more I want. This whole thing is it's supposed to be for us to unite and get all the all the hostages back home safely. With the least amount of casualties as possible possible. <laughs> I'm here because I want to make sure that it's loud and clear that the first priority should be bringing them home now. We have almost 200 people out there and we're not leaving wounded behind. This is a saying in Hebrew and we're here to remind it to the people that are making decisions about how this will develop because I'm not confident that those people in charge right now have the right priorities. They haven't proven it yet the whole week since this war started that the right priorities are there and we are here because we will not leave our people behind. <laughs> 